the other day I showed you how to uh, make uh, like censor someone out of a video that shouldn't be in there to avoid privacy concerns with Sony Vegas. Unfortunately Sony Vegas does not allow track motion like Adobe After Effects. So today I'm going to show you with Adobe After Effects how to use uh, track motion so that you can track a moving object back and forth and censor it as it moves and with little to no work and not keyframe by keyframe or frame by frame. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, censor a person's face in the video without having to do it frame by frame uh, using Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First of all we're going to create a new layer. So layer, new, null object, and the next thing we're going to do is new adjustment layer and we don't want to touch the adjustment layer yet so we'll just leave it for now. The next thing you're going to want to do is go up to window and make sure tracker is check marked right here because we're going to be using that in a while. And the next thing you're going to want to do is click on the footage here and make sure the timer is at the start. actually double click the footage. The next thing you're going to want to do is click track motion on the right side here and this little track point pops up and what you want to do is check mark rotation so now there's two of them and you take this and you move it to something that's going to be in the uh, film the whole time and place it over top I'm trying to get it like right over top of the uh, pupil. And then the same with this one. And there you go. The next thing you're going to want to do is go edit target and make sure it's on the null layer one. Click OK. And the next thing you're going to do is analyze forward. And as you can see, it's pretty much sticking to the target. Again, lighting is very important when you do something like this so that uh, the trackers can actually pick up on the motion. And that's done. So, as you can see, it pretty much stayed on track the whole time. So, you're going to hit apply, X and Y, OK. And the next thing you're going to want to do is under effects and presets, is type mosaic. I've already typed MOS, and mosaic has shown up. So, what you're going to do is drag it onto this layer and release. And as you can see now it's everywhere so you go here where it says horizontal blocks on the left hand side of your screen and you type 60 in both vertical and horizontal and there you go it looks a bit better and then the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, get out the pen tool and for now, you're going to want to like uh, click off the adjustment layer uh, by uh, clicking on the eye on the left. And then just taking the pen tool and simply marking as close as possible around the head. It's rather hard to be like that tight, but if you're careful, you can get pretty tight. You can also feather it later if you want to. I don't usually bother. Uh, with that and there you go uh, we've got the head uh, circled with the pen tool or the anchor and the next thing you're going to want to do is turn on the adjustment layer again and there you go as you can see it's all pixelated really good and what you're going to want to do is parent the adjustment layer with the null object and you simply click on that squirt, that uh, swirly looking thing where I just have my mouse uh, and drag it over to 
null one. Once it's at null one, uh, you're pretty much done. Yeah, you're pretty much done right now. Uh, as you can see, when you go to preview it here by dragging this uh, time layer, it, it works pretty good. I'll put the example at the end of the video. But you get the point. It tracks my head without any of this uh, key frame by key frame or frame by frame. So uh, let me know if this helps and uh, yeah, on to the preview.